Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're joined with a very special guest. It is Emily Rusky, who you may know as Sophie Piper in Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge, and Halloween Town High. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, 24 years later, this movie is still one of the all-time great Disney Channel original movies. When you filmed this movie, did you think 24 years later you'd still be talking about it and it would be this big of a deal? No, I never thought that. I mean, I was only seven in Halloween Town and it was my first um, movie role. So I had no idea what to expect. I was just excited that I that I booked the movie and that I got to meet these amazing co-stars and work on a movie set and get that whole experience. So to me, I um, had no idea how big it would become or that it would take off and and be iconic like it is today. <laughs> Now, your character is Sophie. Um, like you said, you were only seven. Did you, like, when, when, I'm, when I think about when I'm seven years old, I don't remember too much about when I was a kid. What do you right. remember about being on set that stood out to you the most? I actually do have quite a few memories. Uh, I remember being invited into Debbie Reynolds' trailer to practice my lines. That was super memorable to, be, to me, and I don't think I'll ever forget that. Um, I do remember hanging out um, in the town square in between takes, hanging out with um, Kimberly J. Brown and J. Paul Zimmerman. We would play card, card games and like other stuff just to keep us busy while we waited for our scenes. So a lot of those types of memories stick out to me. I also celebrated my birthday on set during that movie. So I remember um, they made a cake for me and the entire cast and crew sang me happy birthday. So another another great memory. That seems like some awesome memories. I know you mentioned that you worked with the late Debbie Reynolds, who unfortunately passed away. What was yeah. it like working alongside such a legendary actress? Uh, it was amazing. I was really excited when I found out that she was playing my grandma because musicals were big in my house growing up. So we always watched like Singing in the Rain and movies like that. So I knew exactly who she was. And my brother was a dancer, so he was like super impressed that I got to do a movie with her. And it was just exciting. And then um, meeting her at the table read, I saw how how sweet she was and how welcoming she made us all feel. And then that continued on on set with with all of us kids and, and the other co-stars. Now, do you have a favorite memorable moment that stood out to you the most or any other memories on set? Yeah, um, like I said, the one that sticks out to me the most was probably uh, being invited into Debbie Reynolds' trailer to practice my lines with her. We practiced the spell, actually, that lights the pumpkin. Cause That's it was awesome. Pretty hard to remember. It was um, it was Old Welsh, I think, so we all had a little trouble with, the, with it, but she kind of made it easy for me to remember um, just by practicing with her. Do you remember it right now? I do. <laughs> Not to put you on the spot. All right. Yeah, I do remember it. It's Beiti Ma, Beiti Gafir, Beiti Gigain, Cletus Freetham, and Noeth Bid. I don't think you'll ever um, forget that in your life now, no. after everything you've been through. Um, do you have a favorite scene from the show that, or from the movie that you filmed? Yeah, um, I have, I have a favorite from Halloween Town 2. I could probably give you a favorite for each one, but Halloween Town 2, I was really excited because I got a scene where I got to fly the broom. I remember I thought that was so cool in the first movie with um, Kimberly and Debbie. So then I got a flying scene in the second one with my brother, Dylan. So we got to be on like, it's kind of like a mechanical bowl type of thing that, that mm -hmm. was green behind us and along like broom that, and we would sit on it and it could like turn and move. And that part was really, really fun for me. That's awesome. What about from Halloween Town High? If you want to share your favorite scene from that. In Town High. Um... My favorite scene, I just, uh, I really enjoyed um, just meeting the other um, new cast members for that and getting to see them like in their makeup as like the troll and um, the different characters there were. So probably any of those scenes with them. Now, do you have a favorite like character, either witch, vampire, anything like that, that you saw on set or just overall um, for your Halloween love? Yeah, overall, my favorite character was always Benny. I just thought he provided just great comic relief to the movie. And I always thought skeletons were cool. And I just thought he was he was the greatest. He was my favorite. I actually even had earrings designed after Benny's taxi. I don't know if you'll be able to see him on here, but I will show you. Um, that's I can see it. Yeah, it looked, that was awesome. 
and Benny's in there. So that's just to represent my love for Benny. <laughs> now, was was Benny a robot? Yeah. He was. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. Um, do you still keep in touch with the other actors and actresses? I know that I've seen on your Instagram that you're going to, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, a festival on October 1st and 2nd. Do you want to talk a little bit about any upcoming appearances you'll have? And if you do keep in touch with the cast, what it's like? Yeah, I'm going to be at the Spirit of Halloween Town Festival, which is really amazing. It's where the first Halloween Town was filmed. So I've been going back since probably 2017 or 18. Um, and I've reunited with Kimberly there, Judith. We had the whole cast back to do a, a tribute to Debbie Reynolds, which was really special. And um, this year I'll be going with J. Paul Zimmerman and Philip Van Dyke. So Luke and Dylan from Halloween Town will be there. We'll be doing a parade and um, lighting the pumpkin and doing meet and greets with fans. So that's super exciting when we always get back together for that event. I recently saw Kimberly J. Brown and Daniel Koontz, who are engaged now. I got to congratulate them on their engagement. Uh, we were at the Smoky Mountain Fan Fest in Tennessee. So we do get together at, at conventions and things like that and keep in touch through social media. So it's always nice. Well, that sounds like a ton of fun and a great time for any families. Um, what do you think is different about Halloween Town that has made it such a classic over the years for families? Like what separates it from other movies? Yeah, um, I watch it a lot. So it's something I do think about all the time. Uh, I just think it combines like the childlike excitement of Halloween with a tiny bit of like horror mixed in with Calabar being like evil and a little bit scary and it just does it so well and I think a big part of it too is also just the the set uh, it makes you feel like you're really in um Halloween town mm -hmm. and then the chemistry of the cast members and our passion for Halloween and Halloween town really shines through now out of all three of them do you have a favorite of which one goes above the others? I get asked this on TikTok all the time, and it's so hard for me to choose between one and two. I have like so many great memories on set with both of them. The first one holds a special place in my heart because it's what started it all. Um, it was amazing to meet Debbie Reynolds and work with the other cast members and be in, in Oregon, which was beautiful. And then the second one was great because like we already had chemistry. We were excited to get back together a couple years later. And that one was really fun and had a different element to it with the gray spell. Um, it's so hard to choose. I mean, if I had to, ultimately it would be number one, just because like I said, it's what started it all. I so. totally understand that. Did you get to keep any props from any of the movies? I did get to keep um, the book that grandma Aggie reads to the kids, the Halloween town book. Um, that she reads to us at bedtime we all got like a replica of that um, so it doesn't have like the full story but it has mm -hmm. you know, some of the pictures and the cover and that's something that's really special to me well that's really cool I know that you do have children have they seen their mom yeah. in Halloween Town and what do they think about that yes they have um, this is something I get asked a lot too my girls have have seen it since they were young and they've been to Halloween Town with me since they were like young toddlers, they came with me while I did events and signed autographs and stuff like that. So they've been exposed to it, but it definitely took them a couple years to really understand and grasp the concept that that was me when I was younger, because they would have a hard time kind of understanding like, no, that's a kid. That's not my mommy. Like, you know, so it took, it took a couple years. They would still watch it every year. And, and then I think they finally understood. They're like, I just grew up and now I'm their mom, but I was little like mm -hmm. them once. They love the movie. We've already watched it this year. So it's always every Halloween, every fall season, we start watching them. And like I said, they've been to Halloween Town with me. So they have a, a big love for it. So I'm assuming that Halloween is your favorite holiday. It is. Yes. I love Christmas too, but Halloween is probably number one. I love dressing up, taking my kids trick or treating, um, all the decorations, everything that goes with it. Yeah, I'm the same exact way. I love Halloween. It's always my number one and then Christmas as well. But um, something I want to talk about, and I've seen a lot of online fan theories about this, is that Sophie is the most powerful Cromwell witch. And that's displayed by her in the first movie, knowing that grandma's coming. And then she also changes the lock into the frog. And also she knows when Cal's son is coming. Do you yes. think that Sophie is one of the more powerful witches underneath um, Aggie? 
Yeah, I do think so, actually. It's funny because before that started kind of circulating on the Internet and stuff, my brother, who was on the set with me, watched all the movies with me, had always said that Sophie was the strongest witch. So I was like, he got me thinking about it, you know, and and the more you watch the movies, you see her powers. Um, Mm -hmm. I do think she was a very powerful witch and could have gone to great places with her powers. I think it all comes down to, and I've seen it with certain things that I've done in my life, that when you're a kid and you learn about these things, Marnie only learned about it when she was, I think, 12 years old in the movie. But when you're much younger, you're a lot more innocent and it's not as serious. You don't take it as serious as someone who like is a little older. So I think it's a lot easier. And I think that's a great detail that maybe they unintentionally put in the movie, but that little kids can do things without overthinking too much because it's just what they're brought up to do, which I thought that was a great um, piece that they added into the film. But if there was a Halloween town reboot with kids going into any mysterious world, would you be down for a Halloween reboot or a Halloween town reboot? Yeah, I definitely would. I love, I love the movies. I had such a great experience. I love how passionate the fans are about halloween town and i know that they would love a reboot and i would love to deliver that for them well i would definitely watch it i know that everyone else would watch it it's it's honestly one of my family's favorite movies and everyone i'm i'm 22 i wasn't even born when halloween town came out which is crazy to even think about and all my friends who are my age and even older they all know the movie and it's so crazy so they're definitely excited that i'll be talking to you they don't even no one even knows this so i can't wait oh, to man. share it with them <laughs> but um i gotta ask you get called soapy in the movie does yes. anyone ever call you that like your family as like a nickname or any fans you see not my family but fans do yes i'll, I'll always get a couple that come up to me and go soapy and then i of course say it's soapy <laughs> like the movie Oh, yes. Now, were there any characteristics that you saw in Sophie that were in you as a little kid? Definitely. Yeah, I feel like I I played her so well just because I I kind of related to her in a lot of ways. Um, she was young, but of course um, mature for her age and very intuitive. And I feel like I was the the same way. She was also a an observer, and I was like that a lot too. I would observe, you know, and and pick up information and gather as much knowledge as I could. And then I would um, display that knowledge as Sophie did by um, reciting the spell and things like that. Were there any challenges you faced as either on set or as a child actor? Um, no, I mean, I did have uh, on set was amazing. My experience acting was great. I did, however, um, miss out on certain childhood things growing up just because I was always going to auditions, um, doing events, doing things, you know, so I didn't really get to just be a kid. So that's actually the reason that I I stopped acting so that I could go to public school for the first time and, you know, get a social life and, and have some of those normal childhood experiences. I know that you retired from acting in 2004, I believe. Um, yeah. If you'd like to share, what are you up to now, if you feel comfortable sharing? Yeah, of course. Um, I've told you before, that uh, we already discussed that I'm a mom. So mm-hmm. I have four kids now. We're a blended family. I have two of my own girls. And then I met my boyfriend in 2020, and he has two boys. So together, we're raising four kids and... Um, just trying to give them the best life that they can have. I still do martial arts, which has been a huge passion of mine since before Halloween town even. So I'm a third degree black belt and I spend my time teaching it to others, competing in martial arts, still training all the time. So those are kind of my main focuses now is my family and martial arts and also um, social media. I do keep up. I stayed out of the limelight for a long time after I retired and recently in the last couple of years um decided to make a tiktok and make my instagram public and start reaching out to fans and and meeting everybody and it's just been an awesome experience i love the positivity of my fans and the support that i have do you have any messages for any fans or anyone who's have followed you throughout the years yeah i just want to say thank you to them and um to remind them to keep going even when things get hard, um, you know, you can always push through. I've had difficult experiences in my life, just like everyone has. Everyone has a story. Um, just remember that there are better things ahead and to keep keep going. 
All right, last question. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Ooh, um, I like peanut butter cups are my favorite. So I like the little pumpkins that they come out with on Those Halloween. are my favorite too as well. Oh. <laughs> well, Emily, oh. thank you so much for joining me today. Um, you can watch Emily on Disney Plus still. Halloween Town is on Disney Plus as well as Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge and Halloween Town High. Anything else you'd like to say? Um, I do have a website where I sell um, autographs and the earrings that I just showed you. And I'm going to be having some new merchandise coming out this October. So stay tuned for that. If you're a fan of Halloween Town, you'll want to check it out and go see me in Halloween Town this year. You won't regret it. Halloween Town is like a bucket list place to go. It's, it's a real place. You can visit the town. And I am so excited to see everybody there. Well, Emily, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you for having me. No problem.